Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. Well, welcome back to the property. Um, so anyhow, um, as you guys saw in the title of this video, we got a new toy. So first things first, as far as the engine goes, still no updates, waiting on parts. Uh, it is what it is. It's just kind of sucks. Anyhow, I have been busy. I told you guys I was going to try and get better with my consistency and put out a video like every Monday, Wednesday, Friday which I completely failed at this week because I've been working on the race trailer bathroom. So we will have an update coming on that. Um, I am no carpenter. Doing that kind of stuff is definitely not my forte, so it takes me a little longer. Also, uh, work's been pretty hectic and whatnot, um, getting thrown on night work and stuff like that. So anyhow, without further ado, here is our new piece of equipment for the property here at the house. So as you guys can see, we got ourselves a little Kubota tractor. So isn't that thing cute? Um, cute little fellow it is. It's just a little 16 horse tractor. Um, I've been wanting something with a loader for a long time and just a tractor in general. I know it's just a little guy, but it will definitely help out around here with uh, like tree stuff and just stuff from living in the woods. Also with you know, doing stuff with the race truck, I can push it out or pull it out with the tractor and stuff like that. Um, like I said, something I've needed to get for a while and just kept putting off, putting off, putting off. Certainly would like to get a bigger machine, but I want to make sure that I'm actually going to use, you know, like the bucket and all to make it worthwhile. You know, something like this might be more than enough and we don't need to go bigger, but that's why we're going to use this as a trial. Um, it does have some issues that we're going to have to work on, just like kind of everything I do. It's a little project, but it does run, it cuts, all that kind of stuff. So what kind of got me to the point of buying a little tractor finally was, well, my mower that I use here at the house took a crap. One of the drives took a crap. I was going to change it out and it's, you know, an older machine and it's like well the other drives liable to go and the drives cost as much as like the used machine itself so as you can see we've been neglecting a good bit of the yard um we've only been really mowing you know certain parts of the grass you know where it's just kind of like the front yard and the side yard stuff like that up here we've completely neglected because we've just been push mowing this entire year so i've been looking for a while to find something and this kind of checked off a couple boxes because it does have a mower deck and it does have a bucket. So we're gonna see that we use, you know, the implement to its full nature or full needs uh, with the bucket and all that, but the mower was a big selling point for getting this. So we'll get it off the trailer. We'll talk about it, what exactly it is and all that. Um, and when I fire it up, you guys will see that, yeah, we got a little work to do.
So here is our new Kubota tractor, or at least new to us. So this is an early 90s uh, Kubota tractor. I don't know the exact year, to be honest with you. I wasn't really worried about it. Um, this thing comes with 1,350 hours. Honestly, I don't know if the hour meter works, which... Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if the hour meter works or not. Doesn't really matter. Um, Kubota, you know, they're just tried and true and all that kind of thing. I have a little bit of experience with this type of machine, uh, which we'll go to in a second. But this is, like I said, an early 90s. It is a B7100 HST, which means it's a hydrostatic transmission. And it is four-wheel drive. So hydrostatic, you got reverse, you got forward, and it just kind of operates like that. There's no gears. Um, the only thing you have, you have rabbit, neutral, and turtle. So you got high range and low range, four wheel drive, two wheel drive. Also, you have your mid, you know, your deck so you can mow. So there's PTO down there, and there is a low range, a neutral, and a high range for the deck. The high range will operate the mid PTO and the rear PTO. Low range only operates the rear PTO. Also, there's a three-point hitch setup. Um, this third link for three-point hitch is just stuffed under the seat right now because it is holding the um, three-point from just kind of bottoming out when the deck hits the ground. So if we put the deck down, which I guess it's hanging, I guess that's down. Well, anyway, so the chain stops it from going all the way down, yada, yada, yada. So there's definitely some things to work out on this. It is almost a 30 year old machine, if not a 30 year old machine. Um, I don't have the exact year of it. Wasn't really concerned with that. So it is a little Kubota. It has a loader on it. It's a 1630C loader. It's nothing fancy. It's no quick attach or, you know, quick attach bucket or, you know, loader setup where you can just kind of drive in, drop some things. It takes a little more work to get it off of here. Uh, even our hydraulic lines don't have quick disconnects. So that might be something we'll be changing in the future. So under the hood of this thing, we have a little three cylinder Kubota diesel. And yeah, it's nothing major. It's just a little 16 horse uh, Kubota. And I believe PTO, they're rated for 13 horsepower. As you can see, it appears we have new injectors and new glow plugs. So if you guys heard it when it started up, we do have some issues we have to work through. Now, I said I have a little bit of experience with this machine. Um, well, at least this model machine. This is the exact mower that I learned to mow grass with. So, well, exact model, like I said. My parents had a B7100 hydrostatic at the house. And that's what I mowed with from whenever I started mowing 10, 11 years old till dad eventually brought home an X mark and we had a zero turn, which I never thought I'd be cutting grass with something like this again, because once you cut grass with a zero turn, it's really hard to go back. Um, but this is gonna be a dual purpose machine for us here at the house. Um, anybody who's had a, went from like a tractor or garden tractor to zero turn, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So. I learned how to, you know, use any kind of implement with a machine just like this. The only difference is we didn't have a loader and we had a 60 inch deck. This is a 54 inch deck, which isn't a big deal. I probably only have an acre, maybe an acre and a half to mow here at the residence. Uh, the rest is all woods, but that's why we need the loader because of the woods. So. Like I said, there's some issues with it. Um, as far as the hydrostatic system goes, the pedal, as you can see, it stays in reverse or it'll stay in drive a little. It, it doesn't, you know, it's got some play. So when you're going one direction and you go back, you either got to push in the clutch or you got to, you know, hit it the reverse direction real quick and, you know, try and find that sweet spot so it stops. That's one issue we got to work out. Another issue, the clutch engagement, it engages, but you gotta press it way far down here. If I remember my parents' machine correctly, you only really had to press it to like, I don't know, here. So about half the throw of what we got there. And that might not be an issue at all. The big thing, and when you guys saw me start it, a bunch of white smoke, when I turned the RPMs up, a bunch of white smoke. Um, 
I think we're down a cylinder. So I got my heat gun out. I'm gonna start this thing and we're gonna check. When I bought this thing, um, got it for a pretty good price. So I think even if we just turned around and tried to flip it, we could get our money back, but that's not the goal here. Um, but I kind of put my hand down here at the manifold and this first cylinder definitely felt way cooler than the rest. So do we have a uh, an injector that's got some air in it i don't know you know they are relatively new injectors is there just a lack of compression there maybe a valve issue i don't know we're going to figure that out um but it runs it drives the mower deck starts all that kind of stuff so we're going to just work through the issues and then we will have a piece of machinery to use around here for just all the various little things that i've been doing by hand which be honest with you is getting old so anyhow, I'm gonna start the tractor and then we will measure the temperature of each bank. And I have a feeling that number one cylinder is definitely going to be lower than the rest because I feel like we got a miss there. temp reading i did have it running obviously got brought it down off the trailer so maybe the manifold's a little heat soak but we we're like 270 or so on the cylinder here in the rear we'll call it number three number two was like 230 something like that number one was like 180 190 so definitely a lot cooler up front there but maybe that's just from running it and all the exhaust kind of coming over here so i really need to let it cool to get a good reading uh but I, there is definitely an issue somewhere so the white smoke is telling me that we have unburnt fuel coming out. So more than likely, probably number one cylinders down is my thinking. Um, I will try to crack the injection lines and see if we can get some, you know, air out. Maybe, you know, whoever put these in didn't do a very good job. Maybe they're chasing an issue. Who knows? But for the money, I think we're into this thing right and we'll be able to use it, get it repaired, all that. And we'll be able to cut the grass, move some stuff around but it also opens up some new content. We can make some pallet for stuff like that. We can also now plow the paved part of the driveway. We're not gonna do the whole driveway. Um, it's a bit much, but yeah, I'm very excited that I now have this piece of equipment. <laughs> Don't have to push mow anymore and we will be able to, you know, just, it will make life a whole lot easier, a whole lot more efficient. Um, like when I have trees down in the driveway and stuff like that, I can cut them up, throw stuff in a bucket, and then I can bring it back here by the fire pit rather than just throwing it in the woods, stuff like that. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about our little engine issue. If you have any clues, let me know down there. Um, also, let me know what you guys think about the Kubota. I know she's just a cute little machine, 16 horsepower, but we're just gonna get our feet wet and see how much we actually use the bucket and the tractor before we go to the expense of getting something big and radical. I mean, I would love to have like a backhoe and all that, but realistically, how much are you gonna use it? Do you just need a bucket? I don't know. We're gonna find that all out. Um, yeah, and definitely have some trailer bathroom content coming up as well so i hope you guys enjoyed please like the video subscribe down below i'll catch you guys on the next one get out in your garage get the wrench in your truck or your tractor <laughs>